Welcome to Five Pioneers Who Shaped Modern Medicine, a series timed for May 17th, the anniversary of Edward Jenner's first smallpox vaccine in 1796. Medicine's giants often go unsung, but their breakthroughs saved millions. This series celebrates their grit and genius. In 1847, a Hungarian doctor named Ignat Semmelweis made a groundbreaking discovery. He noticed that washing hands with chlorine reduced childbirth fever dramatically. Semmelweis proved hygiene was more effective than bloodletting, but his peers scoffed, unaware of germ theory's future significance. Critics enraged him, leading to a shift in his behaviour. His colleagues confined him to an asylum, fearing his mental state. He may have suffered from Alzheimer's or syphilis. Guards beat him, and he died from an untreated infected wound. An ironic end for a man who saved millions. Are today's visionary scientists facing similar rejection? Share your thoughts below. Next, a woman storms medicine's male bastion. 1849. Elizabeth Blackwell, an English emigre, faces rejection from 29 medical schools. Too fragile, they say. She persists, enrolling at Geneva Medical College after a faculty vote meant as a prank backfires. She graduates first in her class, the US's first female MD. Shunned by patients and doctors, she opens a New York infirmary in 1857 for women and children, training nurses during the Civil War. Blackwell's grit cracks medicine's boys club, but she dies in 1910, her school shuttered. Are there still jobs that we assume certain segments of the population can't do, and thus don't give them the opportunity to succeed at them? Share your thoughts below. Next, a blood breakthrough aids wartime chaos. 1940. Charles Drew, a black surgeon, masters blood plasma preservation at Columbia University, earning a doctorate no white school would grant him. His blood banks saved thousands in World War II, shipping plasma to Britain amid blitz bombings. Named father of the blood bank, he's outraged when the Red Cross segregates blood by race, a myth he debunks. He quits in 1941, dying in a 1950 car crash. Rumors swirling he was denied a transfusion. Untrue. Do you donate blood or have ever needed donated blood to save your life? Share your story below. Next, a score revolutionizes newborn care. In 1952, Virginia Apgar, a pioneering surgeon, transforms medicine forever. Witnessing newborns suffer, she creates the Apgar score to save lives. At Columbia, she becomes the first female full professor. Her one-minute test revolutionizes infant care worldwide. A polio survivor, she defies expectations with her resilience. Women are liberated from the time they leave the womb, she declares. She flies planes and plays the violin, embracing life fully. Her diverse talents break barriers in a male-dominated field. With grit and joy, she reshapes medicine for future generations. Was Apgar's vision ahead of her time? Share your thoughts below. Next, a vaccine titans humble hall. 1957. Maurice Hilleman, a Montana farm boy turned microbiologist, spots a flu brewing in Hong Kong. Nine 14-hour days later, he proves it's a killer strain and rushes a vaccine. 40 million doses by fall. The Asian flu still hits, claiming 70,000 American lives, but without him, it could have been a million. At Merck, he crafts over 40 vaccines. Measles, 1963. Mumps, 1967. Once lugging his daughter's mumps sample in his briefcase to save millions. A gruff loner, he dies in 2005, unsung. Hilleman's vaccine work is still vital. But are we less safe today because vaccine hesitancy? Share your thoughts below. That's the last medical pioneer. Thanks for watching Five Pioneers Who Shaped Modern Medicine on Short Bites of History. We make history fun by serving it in small bites on YouTube Shorts. Videos are created with the help of AI using vidAI. A link to vidAI will be pinned in the comment section. The video popping up now is something that YouTube thinks you will like. You know what to do. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.